Hey, 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 it is Michael Douglas James, and I'm coming back at you with a brand new video. What do I want to talk about? Let's talk about the Surface Laptop and what my initial thoughts, reviews, and why I'm suggesting not to buy it. Okay, so the Surface Laptop, it's the newest laptop of the Surface line. We have had the Surface Pro, the Surface Book. Uh, we've had the Surface Studio, now let's jump back to the Surface Book and the Surface Laptop. The difference is, is the Surface Book was a, pretty much a dock, it came with a dock that connected to, that had basically your computer, uh, keyboard and everything to make it into a laptop, but was still a full Surface. Well, this is just a straight up laptop, legit straight up laptop. Now it does come in many different colors. You have, you know, black, silver, burgundy. This burgundy color is off the hook and if I was to buy one, I would get burgundy. Now with a price tag starting at $9.99, one would think that you would be getting some, you would be getting pretty good uh, specs on it. Well, you're not. To start off the bat, you are not even getting a full version of Windows. You are getting a version of Windows 10 called Windows 10S. Windows 10 S is pretty much like Windows RT, and the only things you can do with it are download apps from the Windows App Store and use Microsoft Edge. I'm sorry, Chrome users, it doesn't work. But that's okay because until December 31st, you can download Windows Pro for free, which is nice. But on the same end, why for $1,000, I would think I'd be getting that. But you're not, and you're only starting out at a 128 gig hard drive for $1,000. I think you'd be getting more than that. There are so many other laptops on the market that outperform this, like the Dell XPS 13 and 13 Touch that is the same price. The 13 Touch is $999, comes with the full version, comes with so many better specs. So who's this geared towards? They say it's geared towards students. Okay, uh, but you know, it depends on what you're doing. If you are a student who you're in school for TV production or engineering, accounting, you need more than, you know, apps from the Windows Store. You need actual physical programs. And you know, sometimes Edge is just a horrible, 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 did I mention? horrible browser you you want to use something better like that like chrome and maybe you want to use google docs to, uh, for all of your stuff and a lot of schools you need that for classes as well so there there's just aspects of this that just don't feel right now it does come with on the inside with the keyboard it's covered in alcantara which wow just amazing i mean feels great to the touch on your hands, the keyboard is actually pretty good. It's not that smushy like it was first on the Surface Book. So the keyboard's pretty good with the clicks. Um, but overall, it's just something not worth buying. I mean, in the market, it's probably, for where it sits at $1,000, it's comparable to buying a Lenovo IdeaPad, which actually, I have one sitting right here that I use pretty much as just a daily reader to write things up on. Or it's as good as a Chromebook. All of that cost less than $300. This baby right here that I just showed you, that was a $150 laptop. And it's got a full version of Windows 10 Pro on it for $150. And it's equivalent to a Surface laptop at 1000 but with a full version of Windows 10 Pro. So it's a no-brainer. It may look cool, it may be something we want to flash off, but it's just not worth buying. And those are my thoughts. Have a great day. Peace out, Girl Scout.